today we are going shopping at YSL. everyone, Steph here. If you are new to this channel and of all things luxury, you are in exactly the right place because we get it and not everyone does. So make sure you join us by hitting the subscribe button and the bell down below. Saint Laurent is one of my favorite designer brands right now. I have a few pieces in my collection. I have my Saint Laurent Lulu in the small size in the cinnamon suede. I've got my YSL Sunset up here and I do have a few other bags as well. I feel like when it comes to Saint Laurent, you get quite a lot of designer bag for your money compared to other brands. So if you are looking to add a YSL piece to your collection, you cannot afford to miss this video. So I have been recording vlogs at Sloan Street in London, Harrods, Selfridges, Dubai even, Dubai Airport to see all the latest stock that YSL has in. So I have compiled them all into this one video so you can get your YSL fix and get lots of inspiration. Now, so that you can shop this video super easily, I will pop links in the description box down below so that you can shop Saint Laurent, see all the latest items that they have in stock. And I will also link to some of the main styles of designer bags that we see throughout this video. Let's go shopping, guys. Let's have a look at what Saint Laurent have because they have some different bags here. I don't know what this is called. Um, it's like a kind of clutch thing. How much is this? Two thousand and five five pounds. This is in like an off-white. We also have a black crop down here. What does everyone think to these? These are quite different. And then over here we have like the vanity, but this is like they're not as wide, which actually I think would work better crossbody. Very beautiful. Um, Saint Laurent's vintage blonde colour. This white is like an off-white. It's one of my favourite colours. I've also not seen this style of bag before either. It's, I like the like shiny calf leather, but you can see some scratches on here already. Mm, so I, I'm a bit wary of that with this leather. We've got the white. And then round here we have puffer style bag. This is the new shoulder bag. I forgot the name of this one. Um, the leather does look really nice actually. I like the opening that's beautiful in the black and gold uh, color combination we've got the vintage blanc here with the gold hardware as well nice shoulder it does feel very like luxurious and the black and gold kate bag over there and the eye care maxi again oh look how beautiful this is just the detail in like the hardware is stunning really nice let's check out some more of the new stock then uh, we saw this last time but this is the uh, puffer in the like emerald green like honestly the lighting in here i don't think it's doing this bag justice it's such a, an amazing beautiful green color and sort of soft leather it's gorgeous we've got it in the vintage blanc here and the black so this is the smaller size and the black is the larger size down there We've got the Lulu bag in the small size. Oh, we've got a bit of a crease in that one there. Obviously, this is a display model, so kind of expect that. And then the vintage Blanc. Okay, so I've been wanting to try this one for a while now, like actually try it on to see the color. So let's take a look. What does everyone think? So beautiful. Yeah, it's lovely. Like if I'm adding a white bag to my collection, it's definitely going to be a vintage Blanc from from Saint Laurent. What does everyone think to this one? Ooh, do I get it guys? Oh, here we have some exotics. Like, oh, this is the Sac de Jour in the green ostrich. So I tried the Cassandra top handle on in Dubai and oh my gosh, they have the Sac de Jour. Again, I don't think you can see how bright this is, but it's amazing. If this comes in in the Cassandra, I would definitely get it because it's so pretty. We have some crop here in like a dark emerald green. We have crop here in a bright pink. I'm gonna need to try these on because they are so pretty. Black with the brown handle here. We've also got the sac du jour. Would everyone go for like the leather or the exotic? I like both. Obviously the exotic's very special. Just to show you the pink, look how bright it is. So pretty. 
Now for the ostrich green. I really was not expecting to see this. I am so pleasantly surprised. Just look how vivid the green is. This is exceptional. I believe this was four and a half thousand pounds here in the UK. And here's the exotic pink. I believe this was around 10,000 pounds. This is real croc. If you're into your exotics, check these two out. We've got the sunset bag in mock croc and in the vintage blanc here. I think I prefer the Lulu um, to the sunset in this. I don't know why, I just really like the leather. And we've got the black on black down here. My favorite bag, the Cassandra top handle. Oh, look at these, they are gorgeous. This is in the vintage blanc mock croc. This is in the Grange leather. And then we have the black mock rock here as well. There's too many nice colors. These are all neutral though. I really want this in the bright green. Come on, Saint Laurent, please. Let's have this in the bright green, please. I'm just gonna try this on quickly though. Let's head over here. Pretty. Lulu or Cassandra bag. Goes with what I'm wearing. Goes with my jumpsuit. So pretty. This is seriously, I just love it. I feel like you could wear this in the evening, but you could also wear it in the day as well. The bright green, guys, the bright green, stop. We've got the sac du jour in the bright green as well. This is nice, more of a neutral with like fabric and the black detailing. It's really nice, got silver on there. 1,855 pounds, that's nice. Does everyone think to that one? The Sac du Jour, it's very, you know, Birkin-esque, but for a lot less than how much a Birkin costs. I do really like Saint Laurent sunglasses as well. I think they have some really great, like, staple styles. Okay, over here, we've got the college bag. This is in the, like, tan color, caramel. It's really beautiful. And then I've seen this one before. This one's got, like, the studs and stitching detail on. That's nice if you're looking for something a bit different. It's not really my style. Right, so let's have a look. Oh, we've got the Lulu. This is in the medium size, I believe, or the large size. This is a big bag. I love this. I've got the small Lulu. So I'm definitely a fan of that one. And we've also got it in the leather for comparison. So if you're thinking of getting the leather or the suede, personally, I just really like the colors of the suede but the leather will, you know, it will wear a bit better than the suede will, and you don't have to worry about it as much as the suede, so. But you can waterproof this. We've got the puffer in a denim. That is lovely. And in the vintage blanc again. Let's have a look at the denim here. This is cool. Obviously, you can pull the straps out. You can cross body. It's like really nice for a casual look if you do like denim. All the belts. Why have I never really looked at Saint Laurent belts before? I don't know why. I really like how delicate the little YSL is on there. Oh my gosh. This is so adorable. Okay, we might need to add these to the collection. We've even got a black on black. How cute is that? We have some purses here. Oh, these are nice. And then we have the envelope bag in black and caramel. We have the caramel suede colour. We have the black. Guys, this is a classic. This can go from day to night. I really like the envelope bag. Uh, we've got silver hardware with the grained leather, and then we've got the beige grained leather with the gold hardware. This would probably be the one that I would go for, actually. I just think you could wear it with everything. And then round here, we've got the camera bag. Oh, look at this green. It's like a forest green, like a dark green with the gold hardware. That is lovely. Beige. Navy blue. I know navy is quite popular with some people. Uh, you don't often see it that much anymore. We've got the raffia one here. And this one's got like a dark blue, yeah, navy leather around it with the gold hardware. That's lovely. And then the croc with the beige as well. Look at these purses and little envelopes. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this like gold iridescent card holder. I don't know if the camera's picking this up right, but it is super, super beautiful. Uh, we've got mock rock, we've got white, we've got the beige and white and black there. So pretty, but the gold is the one that's dealing the show for me right now. What do you guys think? The white is nice as well. They are super friendly here at St. Laurent at Harrods. So thanks to those guys. We've also got some more, just before we finish this one, the Reeve Gorge tote. This is in the large size. I've got the smaller size. 
perfect for the beach, but they are quite large. A little bit more of the sac du jour here as well. Now let's have a look in Saint Laurent. The boutique's quite quiet, but I have already spotted some bright green. So we've got a bright green puffer over there. Um, yeah, I have quite a wide range of stock and the Ikea Maxi is there. I can also see a green sac du jour. So yeah, I'm excited to see what they've got. I really do wish, oh my gosh, if I could find the Cassandra in that green that I saw in Dubai. That would make my day the puffer bag in this green i can honestly say like the camera does not do this green justice it is amazing with the gold hardware and just how luxurious this leather looks as well i had to try this one on you can wear the uh, puffer bag here as a shoulder bag you can also lengthen the strap and use it as a crossbody bag as well so it's quite a versatile piece i believe this is the medium size this is the Sac Du Jour Nano in the same emerald green colour if you're looking for something a bit more sophisticated. Um, I think I personally would go for this one. I just like the boxy shape a little bit more. Lots of shoes in here at Saint Laurent. I'm just waiting to see if they've got any more of the Cassandra bag, the top handle. How beautiful. Oh, I like these ones with like raffy detail. So now we're going to head to one of my favourite stores, Saint Laurent. This looks like it's going to be incredibly impressive. Oh my gosh, the I Care Maxi. This was, oh, I love it. I actually really like it. In real life, this is better in real life than the pictures on the website. The leather is luxurious. The YSL logo is really nice on the front. Now, trying it on here, is it gonna fall off the shoulder? I, this bag has been pinned up. You can let it out so that it's bigger. I prefer the sides pinned in. Yep, I really like that, what does everyone think? And here we have the Cassandra bag. This is a bag that I am currently debating, like seriously debating. This is a UAE exclusive green ostrich. It is so bright. I don't even think the camera will be doing this justice. It's so beautiful. I was going to get a white one, but now I've seen the green one. I just, yeah, you know when you see something that you just like so much more? I feel like I need the green instead of the white. Okay, guys, I did not get to film too much in St. Laurent because um, it's quite quiet in there and there's a lot of like sales associates going around, but I did try on the iCare Maxi and you can see some of the stock here. One of my favorite shops at Vista, as always, and brands in general is Saint Laurent. Let's see what they've got in stock. Got quite a nice range of Saint Laurent bags in, and they also have a small Lulu bag in like an orange color. Guys, this has gold hardware. I've not seen a Lulu with gold hardware before in the outlet store. 1,490 pounds. These are normally 1,860. So that's a really good, saving if you are looking for a bright colorway let's see what this looks like in this mirror loving it i prefer my cinnamon suede but this is really nice if you want like a leather version got the messenger bag oh, i'm liking this one with like a leopard print on there that's very cute and we also have the like a python version in blue see how much gold hardware again i love gold hardware on these bags they just look so great uh, outlet 1440 pounds because this is exotic it's definitely more expensive and then we have a few of the sac du jours we've got some of the nano sac du jours here so this is like a corally color outlet price 1230 i'm really liking this one though this is one's got to be my favorite it hasn't actually got saint laurent on the front it's just all plain so even more understated than usual this is in like an exotic python again let's see this one is reduced down from 3375 to 2700 it's like the most beautiful like burgundy color i really love this one and then we have some of the larger sac de jours got one with like a weaved pattern on there not so sure about that and black and then burgundy it's beautiful fashion as always from Saint Laurent. I am loving, I'm not sure if it's coming out, it's like a really dark like satin with like a palm print on, bomber jacket. Oh, I love this. It feels so soft and silky. Uh, so this is reduced down to £880, down from nearly two and a half thousand. Like that is such a great saving. Look at the subtlety of the print there. Oh, I love that. We've got some of the like Cassandra shoes here with the YSL. Again, you don't normally see these in here because they are like staple. These are down to two, sorry, £605, down from eight. 
1500 what a great saving and we've also got the like full leather boots here these are reduced down to 861 pounds i'm really liking these and we've also got like a shorter version here so these ones aren't quite as tall but they've got wire self on the heel these are perfect for like a wedding or special occasion. These are like a champagne gold. And as we know, some of these shoes are just absolute savings. Like these are 500 pounds, they're now 138 pounds. That is such a fantastic saving. I can see these with like a really colorful dress or even like a simple white dress. More shoes and bags, but mostly shoes on this wall. I think we've got the, like what looks like the Nikki bag, but it's not the Nikki bag. Then we've got the messenger bag here in like an orange and a red. Like in this like dark burgundy clutch with the red. Got quite a lot of leopard print this time as well. This is like um, a clutch bag and then we have like a card coin purse. Some silvers and greys. This is really nice, like a nice big clutch with YSL embossed. Green cape bag here in like a velvet with like small tassels actually rather than the long ones. And that's really cute. And then we have the clutch which we saw last time, this time in a khaki green colour. And then these are always some of my favourites, these like little kind of tote bags, you can cross body them. I'm particularly like in this one for summertime, like a raffia style. Uh, this one's reduced down to £1,180. How cute are these? I'm liking the like raffia and black one here. Got Saint Laurent on the front and then you've got like the little charm on there. I actually think this one here is my favourite. Let's take a look at how much this one is such great bargains 980 pounds down from 1225 for this one does everyone think to this let's just let's try this on in the mirror because this is giving me like major major summer vibes oh i love this does everyone think it's really lightweight as well and you have got a longer strap in here so you can cross body it big wall of bags here and i have just spotted this is one that i saw last time this is the uh, Reeve Gorge tote bag in the like neon pink. Again, last time it was yeah, 960 pounds for that one there. That's the only Reeve Gorge tote that they've got in though. But I'm really liking these rucksacks. I know this is, I'm in the menswear section right now, but you know, I'm, if you like it, you like it, don't you? So I'm liking this rucksack as well. I like rucksacks. I've got mine on now, uh, my Louis Vuitton one, because they're just, you know, you can carry a lot in them without hurting your shoulders. I like this grey bag, I'm not sure what this one is called. Again, a really staple colour, gold hardware combination to be in the outlet. Price in here, here we go, here is the price. 1,195 pounds, really like that one. Uh, we've got some fun bags here, like a tropical print. It's nice, I really like this card holder really nice colours. Got some like Dalmatian. I think this is like a crossbody pocket bag. It's very cute. Card holders again and a little pouch. Strangely, I really like this like necklace, like gemstone. Got some croc embossed here. And then we've, we've got the camera bag here in like a multicoloured tweed. This is cute. This one is reduced down to 875 pounds down from just over a thousand that's a very fun like camera bag these bags are really popular because they're so easy to use love that these tote bags perfect for summer again like the raffi one we've just seen but these ones are larger so maybe more for like beach days 1060 pounds i love that colorway like the tan with the white i feel like i need to try this on quickly in the mirror kind of goes with what i'm wearing now right just a tan colour and something a little bit extra special we've got this bag here with like gold tassels on sequiny tassels how cute is that i really like this bag and this one is reduced down to 1400 so like nearly a thousand pounds off what a brilliant saving oh, very glamorous wow what amazing bags from Saint Laurent. Let me know in the comments down below, what are you liking the look of? I think I really want to add another YSL Lulu to my collection in the vintage Blanc, that was gorgeous. And also the green, the emerald green that YSL has just brought out. They're starting to bring more and more of their bags out in this color is just 
incredible. The camera honestly does not do it justice. In real life, it is so bright and I am looking to add a bright green bag to my collection. So YSL is a serious contender. As mentioned at the start of the video, I have popped links to all the main YSL bag styles that you have seen in this video down below, as well as a link to the main YSL site so you can see all the latest stock that they have. Now make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next, I'll link my latest video release here for you and over here. Why you should never wear luxury to the workplace. My story and some of yours as well. Enjoy. 